I am a Christian. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for the way that I come across. So fair and fake, friendly and full of myself, judging your spiritual health by the words that you say and the way that you dress and the things that you do, or maybe just judging you. I'm sorry for the way that I live my life. So confident of my own beliefs that I would never even think to think about thinking about yours. I'm sorry for the wars. Iron-clad crusaders mounting steeds and drawing swords with such spirit that if the spirit spoke they wouldn't hear but see the sword of the spirit was not a sword but the word and the word was with God and the word was God and they preached this as they marched on the holy land singing and praying and killing and slaying and purging and healing and raping and stealing it's ironic they lined their pockets in the name of God just like the priests who lined their pockets in the name of God just like the people you can't stand because they always raise their hand and spread their faith and hate and judgment in the name of God. I'm sorry that I take God's name in vain. Or rather, I'm sorry that I stay in the name of God, defending my selfish actions and selfless actions pertaining to the will of God. I'm sorry for being intolerant, for trying to talk down to you, for trying to talk over you, for not letting you talk. I'm sorry for not walking the walk, for being a hypocritical, critical Christian, criticizing your pagan lifestyle while my own lifestyle styles itself just like the televangelist hair. All slick and sly and slippery as a silver syllable slide the way into your ear, but see, that's my greatest fear. That the steps I take and the words I speak won't, the steps I take won't match the words I speak, so when I speak, all you hear of me is a weak, hypocritical, critical Christian, doing one thing, but saying another, loving my friend, but hating my brother, it's a show. I'm sorry I get drunk on Saturdays and go to church on Sundays to pray for my friends who get drunk on Saturdays. And on that note, I'm sorry for making the church about the pews and the cross and the walls and the steeple because see, the building is not the church. The church is the people. I'm sorry that I hate you because you're gay. I'm sorry I condemn you to hell because you're gay. Instead of loving, I jump to hatred. Mouth open and tongue preaching. Eyes open but not seeing that you are the same as me, just a fucking human being. I'm sorry that I only hang out with Christian friends and we do nice Christian things like potluck dinners and board game nights. While in the night, a man beats his girlfriend again. Another homeless man died again. Is this the way that my own pride has been? But here I am with the same friends again. But see, what I always forget is that Jesus didn't come to hang out with the priests and the lords. No. He hung out with cripples and beggars and whores. Love. I'm sorry for history. For native tribes wiped out in the name of the church. Lodges burning, stomachs churning and yearning for justice as mothers, screaming and bleeding, pleading for the young ones as they are dragged away to church schools where they were abused. I'm sorry for the way that I refused to learn your culture. Instead, I just came to spread the gospel and the plague. I'm sorry that I stand at the front doors of abortion clinics, screaming at 15-year-old girls as they enter instead of waiting at the back door to hug them as they leave. I'm sorry for taking my wars and my faith to your lands when historically your lands is where my faith was born. And in the face of the storm, I realize that if God is a law and a law is God, then why are we shooting instead of sharing? Why are we launching instead of learning? Why are we warring instead of walking together? Why are we tanking instead of talking together? Why are we bombing instead of breaking bread together as brothers? See, I think God looks down and he's sad. And from his right hand thrown above, Jesus asks, where is the love? And if it takes Will I Am and Justin Timberlake asking that same question for us to start asking that same question, then where the fuck are we headed? So I will take this stage to be my chapel, and this mic my confession booth, and in the presence of God and of you, the blessed, I confess I am a Christian. I'm sorry. <laughs>